uh, I heard about the news of joining Yanga from my manager because uh, by the time he came we had so many offers. Uh, I, uh, of course I had a good season in Uganda so I had so many offers from uh, so many different countries. So my manager uh, came and told me that Yanga is among the teams that wanted wanted my services. So <coughs> when my manager told me about that, uh, to be honest with you, I was so happy. I was so happy because uh, I had uh, I had had a lot of things about Young African Club. It's a very big uh, it's a very big uh, club in Africa. Yeah, so when my manager told me about joining Yanga, all I can say is I was super excited. I, I just couldn't wait to join the team. Uh, you know, <coughs> uh, football, uh, what, what I know about football uh, is that uh, to become someone to become a good player or uh, to become something in football, of course, there are, they are always uh, some something that has has to be uh, like in place for, uh, for that person to be what he wants to be. So, uh, being a top scholar in Uganda and then uh, coming in Tanzania and then uh, uh, what I cannot deny, let me let me just accept it. I had a little bit of some problems in scoring, like uh, how I did in Uganda, but. To me, what I can say is, uh, if you change, if you change an environment in life, you may not find everything the same like from where you come from. Because in police, I had uh, two, three players, uh, like two, three players who could look, who could look for me in the game, whereby they would do what they can to provide me with assets. Or what in police I was the main man every player was looking for me on the pitch so I had to change I had to come to young and then uh, make the the players of younger uh, do the same like how the players in police were doing for me they were looking for me they knew I was the main man they knew they they knew everything for the team has to go through me that's that that was a different case here in younger it's something that I, I, I had to work for uh, it, it was something that uh, that it was something that should have it, that, that, that that cannot come just in a few weeks or a few months. It's something that takes time. So I think that one, uh, me not scoring like in every game. Yes, I accept that it was there, but I think I needed time. Uh, talking about life, all I can say is. Uh, the first day I came, I went to Nepalan Hotel. The first, the first few days I was alone. The first two days I was alone. Uh, I think I, I, I arrived in Tanzania. It was a Friday, so I had to stay at Nepalan Hotel uh, Saturday and Sunday. So on Monday, that's when I met, I met uh, some of the players. Like I met, I first met the foreign players. I met Patrick, uh, Lamin, uh, Kalengo and uh, Mustafa they were they were staying at Nepal Hotel but uh, the funny side of this this story is I didn't know that they were staying at the hotel I thought I was there alone so on Monday we had to travel so I stayed there Friday and Saturday I mean yeah Friday Saturday and Sunday so on Monday we had to go for the for the places on Morogoro. So it was Monday morning when we were traveling to Morogoro when I saw those players, Patrick and other players I've mentioned. And I was like, eh. <coughs> so I was not here alone. If I if I try to remember my first, let me say first friend, first, uh, first Tanzanian friend, I, uh, if I remember very well, it was Mapindus. And he's uh, still one of my best friends right now. Uh, I, if talking about challenge between the strikers, I can't say I can't say that this one was challenging me because uh, when I came, uh, uh, because we, did, we first of all we, did, we didn't come at the same time. 
because uh, I just uh, at first we are just it was just me and Kalengo. Then after like a week, then Sadne arrived. Then uh, after another, I think after another week, I think Moringa was the the third speaker to, uh, to arrive. So me uh, in my in my head, what I knew, I just had sort of belief. I just knew I was going to play no matter who they bring because I trusted myself. And uh, I don't know if uh, um, among the people, I think among the people who are going to watch this video, there will be some people who were in Morogoro. They can understand what I'm going to say. Uh, when I when I was in Morogoro, the wife was playing. Uh, to be honest, no, I, uh, no no striker among the strikers no striker would put me outside no striker would put me on the bench so all in all the strikers were there and i was among them but what i what i what i had in my head is that i'm going to play because i'm the best uh, so far uh Yanga is a is a very a very good club it's a very big brand uh, what I can say is, you know, every club has uh, challenges. No club is perfect. So Yanga has some, maybe uh, they have their, their own weaknesses as a team, but it's a good team. And I think they are going to, they are going to challenge for the, for, the, for, the, for the trophy this season. Uh, Uh, to be honest with you, I wouldn't want to talk about. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to talk much about why I left, uh, because I think many, uh, many, many of the many people know. Some don't know, but I, uh, I wouldn't wish to talk much about why I left. But of course, no one can make up a decision without uh, the reasons. Yeah, so I have my reasons why I left, but the good thing is that I didn't leave in a bad way. I still want the club, I still wish the club well. Uh, <coughs> I want the club to win, and all I can say is you never know, this world is, is moving all the time. Who knows if someday I'll be back here. So that's all I can say. That's all I can say about that. Uh, of course, uh, of course, no, no player is stupid to make a decision to leave a club without having somewhere to go. Uh, all I can say is, I have some offers, uh, which I will not disclose right now. But of course, I have some offers. I can't just leave when I don't know where I'm going. I'm going. Yeah. That time when we played uh, that uh, that that game uh, on that day, which they call the Sukuya Wanainchi. I had in my life I had never played football under under such a very big capacity uh, because I, if I remember very well the pitch was full I always I will always remember the noise when we are going onto the pitch it was uh, it was my first experience uh, on the pitch with such a big crowd. And not just that day, even the, the next games we played, I remember I played Kariobang Kashaks from, from Kenya. I could not believe also uh, the, the capacity, the capacity on that day. And then after, after those days, I started experiencing how, how the fans react when you, are going on, when you are going on the bus. Uh, when the bus is moving on the road, it's something that is not in Uganda. So, I have never seen people who support football, like the younger fans, or maybe people in Tanzania as in general. I've never seen that before. Uh, I'm not leaving the club because I don't love the club. It's a fantastic club. I love the club. I love, I love you guys. I love the fans. I know the fans loved me, even if I was not performing 
at their expectations. They always believed I could, I will become the player they want me to be. So I can never forget that, and I can never forget you guys. I, I will always remember you, <coughs> and you never know. Maybe one day I will come back and play for the team. It's a good team. It's a team that is going to be uh, on my heart like forever, and it's the team that I'm going to support. It's the team that I'm going to follow on Instagram. It's the team I'll be checking on on YouTube. So all I can say is I love you guys. I love the team. I love Young. I love you, the fans. And I thank you for the support. I thank you for the six months I've been here. You've been fantastic towards me. And I wish you well and the club as all uh, <coughs> in the future. Uh, what I can say about that match, because that's a very, very big match in Tanzania, not just in Tanzania, but even in East Africa and Africa. That's a very, very big, it's a very big derby match. So, me personally, I'm supporting Yanga. I'll be supporting Yanga, but um, if I'm to say something about the results, I'll say, I won't say that Yanga is going to win. And again, I will not say that Simba is not is uh, Simba is going to win because, you know, in a derby game, even if a team that is leading the table is playing against a team that is on the last that is the last one on the table, you can never predict who is going to win. But all I can say is I just pray and I just wish Yanga can win that game. But uh, thank you very much. Um, not even just the the, the fans. I thank the the management of young Africans, but uh, the Yeah, the way we, the way we, separ the way we separated uh, with the club was friendly. Uh, there was no hard feelings. Uh, it was limit, uh, It was like peaceful. Uh, we just agreed for. We just agreed like like friends. There was, there was no really hard feelings. Uh, we agreed on this, me and the club, and we are, and I'm still uh, the 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 leaders of Young F C are all still my friends. They have no problem with me. I have no problem with them. And maybe uh, one day they will call me back and come and play for, and play for the team. I have no problem with that. So I thank you. Uh, I thank you very much for being very good persons. And then lastly, I will thank the fellow players for Young F C. I thank the players. Uh, you be, I have some friends. All of you are my friends, but I have those who are so friendly to me. That there are some players who have been so good to me. Uh, Mapinduzi was a very good friend. You could joke every training. You could jump on my back. You could slap me during training. It was really fantastic. Uh, then Kaseke yeah, is a guy who always was one of the guys. Uh, in the team, Kaseki was one of the guys who who loved me. Was one of the guys who believed in my talent. He's a guy who could always tell me when I'm not at my best. Maybe if I make a mistake, he could tell me, hey, "Juma, don't lose hope. You get back to your best. You just try to score in training. Just try to score. If you get one goal, try to get a second goal so that you build up your confidence." So I thank you, Kaseki, for that advice. You've been fantastic with me. Uh, then the uh, Kevin Yondani is a very good joker. He's been joking with me too much. Uh, you know, so I'm, a, I'm a guy who I'm a guy who I'm a, I'm a type of guy who who doesn't joke like every time. But that guy Kevin, he could find me very quiet sitting alone, and then at least he could slap me so that maybe I to, I tell him why he's slapping me, and then we start chatting with them. I mean, chatting with him. So that one has been also a very good friend.